In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your family may walk in the way of salvation and, attentive to what St. John, the precursor, urged, may come safely to the one he foretold, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O coastlands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain, and for nothing, uselessly, spent my strength, yet my reward is the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him, and I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you for I am wonderfully made. I will praise you, for I am wonderfully made. O Lord, you have probed me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar, my journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. My soul also you knew full well, nor was my frame unknown to you when I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David 
as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father, what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name, and all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, what then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Names play an important role in our lives here on earth. Our name gives us an identity. It tells us and others who we are. The name that we were given by our parents may have a special meaning. Perhaps it is a name that is traditional in our family. We may be also named after someone in our family or a close friend. Our parents chose our name because of its meaning. No matter the reason, we are given our name by our parents. They help to establish who we are and our identity through our name. Parents are excited at the birth of a child, and there is a sense of joy and anticipation when the child's name is announced. Elizabeth felt great joy at the birth of John the Baptist. She felt the great joy of having a baby and sharing that news with others. But there is a greater joy in the birth of John for Elizabeth because of her lifelong barrenness and because of her and Zachariah's advanced age. This birth is truly miraculous. As was the tradition on the eighth day, John was circumcised and given his name. People gathered in joy and anticipation to hear what his name would be. They assumed he would be named Zechariah after his father. This would have brought great joy to the entire family. However, Elizabeth said that his name would instead be John. This brought confusion since no one in their family was named John. When they asked Zechariah, he wrote on the tablet, John is his name. 
His, his response brought even more confusion. But Elizabeth and Zechariah knew that they could not have chosen another name because God himself chose the name John. When John's name is proclaimed, Zechariah's tongue is freed and he is able to speak. He immediately blesses and praises God for the gift of his son and the gift of his speech. The power of the name that God gave to them, they gave to John. Its power freed the tongue of Zechariah and would foretell the coming of the Messiah. Lord, help us to recognize the power of our own name, to pray and to preach the good news of the Messiah, Jesus, in all that we do, just like John. Together we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As a people of faith trusting in God's great love for us, we now turn to him with these, our prayers of petition. That the Church may always experience great joy in encountering the Lord Jesus and share that joy with people everywhere. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may be faithful to their calling and proclaim the way of the Lord without fear or favor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all children be received as gifts of God and the watchful help of the Blessed Mother. May their birth be attended by rejoicing and marked by signs of promise. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May parents and children be as one in seeking and doing God's will. In their differing ways, may they be sensitive to one another's needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all seminarians of our diocese, that they will be blessed by God as they seek to know his will and serve him in the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and gone before us, marked with a sign of faith. In a special way today, we remember all those who have died as a result of the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Marie Schaefer, for whom this Mass is offered, as she celebrates her birthday. And for all those intentions, we now offer from the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious Father, we ask you to hear these prayers and to answer them according to your holy will, for we bring them to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of him who for, both foretold the coming of the world's Savior and pointed him out when he came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb, he leapt for joy at the coming of the human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption, and to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mitchell our Apostolic Administrator and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with St. John the Baptist, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your church may know as the author of her rebirth, the Christ, whose coming John foretold, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.